Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. Happy New Year. Happy 2021 and happy all the other things. Happy everything. I hope you are all safe. Um, last night was very interesting for us. Uh, I can't remember the, granted, uh, this is, excuse me, this is the first year in 11 years where we have spent New Year's in Clovis. We've been in Paso Robles for the last 11 years, 10, 11 years. And, you know, obviously it's a smaller town. Um, and last night with the fireworks was absolutely insane. Howie, our big dog, was not happy. Um, so with the loud noises and the fireworks and everything, I mean, we even have, excuse me, we even have someone in the neighborhood who owns a, oh my God, are these hiccups? Please don't let it be hiccups. <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, we have somebody in the neighborhood who owns a motorcycle and I don't know how, I've never heard a motorcycle make this noise so often, so I think he might be doing it on purpose, I don't know. But when he takes off, there's like pop, 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 loud pops every time that happens. How he's like shivering for like an hour. So I gotta hug him, tell him he's special and that he's safe. It's fine. Anyway, so um, I hope you are all safe. We, as always, uh, stayed home and, uh, you know, obviously with uh, the pandemic, you know, we really can't go out and do anything, have big parties or anything like that. But uh, even before, even before the pandemic, we didn't participate in that. So I didn't miss out on anything. I didn't feel like I was missing out on anything at all. Um, but again, that's just me and my lifestyle. Also, this is the first, uh, the first New Year's that I can remember where I was sober and the first January 1st where I did not have a horrible, horrible hangover. So, again, I'm on my sobriety journey and it just feels lovely to not start a new year, a new month, a new year off with a world shattering hangover. But uh, anyway, so the point of the video today, as you can already tell by the title of the video, is my Christmas haul. I I know I'm late. I know that everybody had their hauls posted like either the day of or the next day, but I'm still new. I'm still trying to get the hang of this whole thing. Plus, I got my job. So, um, <clears throat> you know, time is a thing and not having enough of it is also a thing, but I'm not complaining. So without further ado, let's get on with it. Um, so I will say uh, about, I think it was three years ago or so, I was in a deep depression. I mean, I, I decided that I hated Christmas. I decided that I hated everything about it and the idea behind it. Yeah, I didn't even put any Christmas decorations up. I refused any presents. And then, yeah, like three years ago, I had just decided that I don't, I'm not doing presents anymore. <laughs> Obviously that didn't stick, that never sticks. But, um, you know, this year, uh, got a lot of presents, got very lucky. And, um, you know, I, this is like the first year in a long time, like, you know, I'm an adult, I'm 33 years old and you know, I, I got very lucky. Uh, everyone in my life knows me very well and they hit the nail on the head. I mean, you know, I'm never going to, um, 
I'm never going to disrespect somebody who decided to gift me something. Uh, I'm never going to disrespect, I mean, if you thought about me, if this item thought made you think of me enough to purchase it for me, then thank you. I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful for the present. That's why I'm big. Well, this year for Christmas, I got really lucky. I'm so grateful. Um, I, I got spoiled in like the best possible way because everything I received, I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use the shit out of it. And that's the stuff I like. Um, especially since, um, you know, adopting a new, like the, adopting the middle mullet, adopting the minimalist lifestyle, being gifted things that I can actually use is a big deal because I don't want anybody else wasting money on me on purchasing an item that I'm never going to use. Now granted, if I legit, excuse me, I need a, I need a drink. Anyway. Um, you know, if I ever received a gift that I legit know in my heart that I'm not going to use, I'm going to re-gift it. I know that's looked down on, but it's better than collecting dust on a shelf and literally going unused or me throwing it away or donating it. So I re-gift it. And if I know that there's somebody in my life who will probably use an item, I re-gift things. I'm not shy about that. Um, but anyway, I'm very, very, very lucky, very blessed this year. So let's get into it. Um, so the first gifts I'm going to show you are from my very best friend, Sarah. And um, she got me this ma this book this book on magical herbs and it's uh, the modern witchcraft guide to magical herbs your complete guide to the hidden powers of herbs first of all okay I love a helpful book um, I the books that I received this year are not um, novels or you know whatever uh, the books I received this year are more of like a, I always, I know there's an actual term for this, but I call them like textbook style because, you know, um, you're, you're learning and the way that they're written is like the chaps, the chapters are like, okay, so I just flipped to a page, secret witch names for herbs, um, Biden's frondosa, cockold also called Devil's Beggar, Beggar Tick is the common name, and the witch name is Beggar's Tick. So I'll just show you what I'm talking about. The graph. So, you know, obviously there is text to read, but um, there's this. So. That's what I mean when I say textbook style, because chances are I'm gonna go through here, probably read this book with a highlighter and a pen and take notes and all that. Refer back to it, put little tabs and stuff, refer back to it. Whereas um, I'm reading, I'm rereading uh, Twilight right now. Don't come for me. Okay. I'm rereading Twilight right now. I'm reading that. That's leisure reading. That's, that's not this. Anyway, I talk too much. So back to this. So Sarah got me this book. Love it. And again, so helpful, helpful. The feel of it is so nice. I love, so, you know, I've got a lot of people who are like, oh yeah, I'd rather have a Kindle, you can put it in your bag, everything. This fits in a bag too. I like the feel of a book, especially a hardcover book. Oh God. And 
the way the pages smell, I love, I love everything about it. And the pages are really thick. They're not parchment, but they're like rough around the edges. Honestly, it looks like, so they're, the signatures in here, the way they are, at the binding, it kind of looks like it's a glued in book. It's probably not sewn in. But if that's the case, they put a lot of effort in to making it look like a sewed binding because all the pages have different lengths. I mean, come on. I just love stuff like that. So I'm appreciating this on a plethora of levels. The second thing that my dear sweet Sarah gifted me and when she brought out the bag, I was like, what? Because again, you know, people tell me that they have presents for me and I'm like, I told you no presents. And then the response is always like, don't tell me how to live. It's fine, thank you. So she brings out the bag, it's, it's, it's a giant bag. And I was like, oh my God, what have, what have you done? And she was like, it's just cause it's big. Don't worry about it. I'm like, shit, all right. Look at this, beautiful. Again, I love, um, I love the feel of things. This, this thing is fantastic. The front with the different textures. So what is this, alligator or croc or snake skin? I think this is probably snake skin. And then probably like patent leather or something. This shit is shiny as hell and so soft. It's the same on the handles. This and this is the same. So soft and lovely. And oh my god, and I love it. I love the color. I actually have um, a pair of shoes. I like, I love matching my shoes to my bags. <clears throat> and I have a pair of shoes that match this perfectly. Like, how lucky am I? And it's like, I've never had a bag like this before. It reminds me of a bowling bag or something. And the zipper, there's dual zippers. So, just have it like that. Um, I switch out my bags every day. And uh, I switch out my bags every day and I switch out my shoes every day. I have, it's not in here with me, it's out with the bag that I was wearing yesterday. Um, I have the purse inserts. It makes life so easy. Like, you want, pop it in, you're ready to go, move on. And, um, so beautiful. I love this so much. And the detailing and everything. I have no idea where she got this. I have no idea who the brand is, who made it, not a clue. And I frankly don't care because it's gorgeous and I'm going to use the shit out of it. So this and this from my BFF, Sarah. Next is from my stepmother and stepsister. This is a, I mean, it's an oil diffuser, but I wanna, I wanna give you guys as much information as possible in the event that you like something and wanna buy it for yourself. Um, this is by Art Naturals, uh, Aroma Oil Diffuser. Um, oh, ultrasonic humidifier. And kinds of little user's manuals and stuff. Oh, did I open it the wrong way? I don't know. Let's see. Okay. Oh, A 
good thing that uh, the trash was picked up today because I've got lots of recycled that needs to go out. Okay. So this is probably the cords or something. Yeah. Yes. So this. Plugs in the bottom. Oh, alright. So it plugs in the bottom. And I was like, what? How do you. But so it plugs in the bottom here. Yeah, you've got the cord, but it's got little feet. So it's not going to sit funny on the surface that you decide where it's going to live. Um, and so, how does this work? So in addition to this, they also got me um, a set of six essential oils. Now I have a shelf full of essential oils. Um, so even if I choose not to use them in here, they can be added to my collection or my collection of oils can also go in here. So let's see, 100% uh, pure essential oil. Great. So are all the ones on my shelf. So yeah, I could totally, oh, this is cute. So on the back of this, let's focus here, shall we? There we go. So on the back of this box of the oils, it gives you the benefits of um, each oil. So like, you know, for example, um, happiness booster and energizing. That would be the sweet orange. Uh, sweet orange oil from Brazil. So that's cute. So I could totally like, if I wanted to, um, change it with my mood. Now normally I just love scent no matter what. It's just like I'm just gonna use it up and I'm gonna get, I'm gonna use them all. But uh fair oh this is cute too. Okay so it says on the side add a few drops to a diffuser. Mix with your favorite cream or body lotion. Add a few drops to a hot bath. Add to water in a spray bottle for a body mist or room fragrance. Combine with a carrier oil for body massage. Cool, right? So, I mean, this is the same brand too, the Art Naturals, but they're also, you know, encouraging you to use these oils however you want. I love that. All right, so opening up the box of the oils, we've got them here in this nice little foam padding so that they travel nicely. And I've got a little booklet that I will read through later. I won't bore you with that. There are all my papers. But this is lovely. I love that so much. So before I unbox this and take these out, I'm gonna make sure that the information provided in here is somewhere in the um, all of the reading material that was provided along with this because I don't want to toss this if it was something necessary or helpful that I can't find again so I'm gonna hold on to this I mean yeah it's a cute if I didn't already have an entire shelf dedicated to oils then yeah, I would keep it in the box like this with the custom sized little slot for each oil. But <clears throat> since, you know, for me, it's just a waste of space to have this when I literally am looking right now at the entire shelf 
that I have dedicated to essential oils. So um, for me, it's a waste of space. But obviously, if I didn't have that, then yeah, this would be great. It would be cute and fit nicely on a shelf. Anyway, so this, I will figure out how to use this later. How, oh, oh, it comes right off. Okay, lovely. And I love the wood grain. Isn't that cute? I love stuff that is practical. I'll get use out of it, but if it's hella cute, because, okay, an air diffuser, okay, whatever. Or, excuse me. So sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, an oil diffuser. Obviously, it's gonna get used, like, totally used, regardless of what it looks like. I don't care. But the fact that it's cute definitely helps. So, these are from my stepmom and stepsister. Next, we have gifts from my lovely husband. Now, these both work with each other. This one, this first set, is all types and sizes of tweezers. I mean, you name it, it's in here. So, the first thing I could think of while looking at this is like, oh my god, like, okay, this one for example, this guy, like, when I'm gluing um, rhinestones and, you know, you can't grab the damn things because, you know, your fingers are too big and the rhinestone is teeny tiny, hello! So jewelry making, whatever, I mean, I have an entire pouch full of tweezers. All shapes, all sizes. They do all kinds of things. Then, the second thing goes hand in hand with what I did just show you. Larger tools for jewelry making. So, I will show you what we got here. So, stuff like this is in here. Wire snips. And it's so cute. He's, he's very observant. I mean, granted, you know, I do complain about the things that I, I, I'm unhappy about. So, lately, what I've been doing with um, charms and jewelry and stuff like that, um, I have eyebrow tweezers. Yes. I have eyebrow tweezers that I am using as like little jewelry pliers. I've used, I've been doing this for like a year and a half or so and for some reason it never occurred to me to like actually buy the proper tools because I was like why would I do that? Like this works just fine. Well, he so lovingly and this one's cool so this is to actually create let me see there we go come on so this is to create like an actual curl in a wire neat right i love that I think that's so cool. Hey, focus. Um, I think that's so cool. I've got six tools in here and you know, they all are shaped differently. They have a different purpose. I think that's so neat. I'm like, oh honey, it's so, ugh. That's, that's gonna make my life so much easier. You know, right tool for the job. So 
I mean, I won't be sitting there working on jewelry with those tiny little things and those tiny little rings and all the tiny little pieces with eyebrow tweezers anymore. Because I actually have tools, actual tools. Who knows? Maybe I'll get into jewelry making, create a new business. Anything's possible, right? Next is from my cousin-in-law. I don't know what the proper name is. Whatever. Greg's cousin. I am now married to Greg. So, cousin-in-law? Second cousin? Twice removed? I don't know. Anyway, my cousin-in-law, or I could just say my cousin. My cousin, Courtney. My cousin and friend. So let's clear that right up. Um, <sighs> we are both on a very similar journey with each other or not with each other. Um, we're having, we're on a very similar journey simultaneously. I don't know, whatever, I'm rambling. Um, we are both what we would call or what is actually referred to in the community as baby witches. So that just means that we are new to the craft, still learning a lot. There's a lot to learn. Um, I have been practicing for about two years and she has been practicing for, let's say like six months or something like that. So, <clears throat> Again, we're both very new and our focus is similar, but you know, we have different desires and different things that we actually wanna to work towards. Um, but you know, it's really nice to actually be able to talk to somebody who is like in the same boat, essentially. I do have a girlfriend who is very advanced and um, very much seasoned, if you will. So while, yeah, I can totally ask her about things, um, but at the same time, there's a sort of, like there's a sense of camaraderie, or I guess that I feel when I'm learning something new with Courtney, because we're, chances are we're both learning about this thing together and we're both excited about it together whereas if somebody like if i were to go to my girlfriend who is seasoned and has been doing this for years and years and years i you know i've asked her questions but it's not i don't get the same excitement as i do when i talk to Courtney about these things simply because of what I just stated. I am, I'm learning new information, also very new to this, and I, I find pleasure in the fact that we are both simultaneously learning something new together. So anyway ramble. Again, I talk too much. Eh, whatever. It is what it is. If you've been following me, you know that by now. Anyway, so these are the gifts that I got from Courtney. So the first is so cute. I don't know, maybe these came from the same place. I have no idea. Oh, 
adorable. It's a little candle holder and it's for the chime candles. These are chime candles, these little tiny tapers. It's a little chime candle holder. It's black and it's got, it's tied with a black ribbon and it's got a pentacle charm on it. <sighs> so cute. I love it. And again, like I said, I think maybe they came from this place. I don't know. Um, the label here is Shabby Witch Yule Beeswax. So um, Yule is the Sabbath that coincides with the traditional Christian Christmas. So together we had celebrated Yule and you know we're learning about it all throughout December. Uh, studying and reading and you know Pinterest and Google and doing all the kinds of things like you know learning up as much learning as much as we could about Yule. How to celebrate, what it means, the origins, all that. So I didn't ask her too much, you know. I feel it's rude to like really like grill somebody about like, oh, where this come from? Oh my god, did it, did it, But this, the these colors are the traditional Yule correspondences with the seven. So it looks to me like this was sold as a Yule set. It's so cute. I just love this. I wonder if maybe she got this from Etsy or something because this has a very, very homemade, handmade, handcrafted feel about it. Like, this is not Target. This is not even like a local boutique in your downtown or old town area. This feels like Etsy. And this feels like somebody legitimately spent time and hours on this. I love Etsy. I'm not going to get into it because that's not what you're here for. You're here for my Christmas gift haul. So anyway, these go together. Again, I have an entire shelf dedicated to chime candles. So Yule has passed. Yule was on the 21st. Yule coincides with the winter solstice. So I'm not going to let these sit around unused for an entire year, put them in a box, let them melt probably in a box in the garage. No, I'm going to unwrap these and I'm going to put them, I know, I'm, I'm weird. I don't know if you care may and you at no if you ask for it if enough of you ask for it okay i can give you a tour of my shelves the way that i organize things whatever i'm not gonna bore you with that yet because you haven't asked but anyway so i'm super ocd all my candles are color coordinated because all i mean there's color theory and there's a reason and a purpose for each color especially with candle magic. So anyway, I'm gonna unwrap these, put them with the corresponding color section. And <gasps> this is going on my altar for all time. Oh, so cute. Just makes, I love stuff like that. And the beeswax candle is just so sweet. Like you seriously, uh, you're probably not even gonna be able to tell, but let's see if I can focus. Oh, there we go. So it's like wrapped. You could totally see. Oh, that's a good one right there. You could totally see right there that it was like a sheet of wax that was rolled up around the wick. Isn't that cool? I want to do that. Video idea. We're going to make candles together and figure out how to do that. Yep, but so this is what I'm talking about. 
right there, you could see the seam of where it closed up. But yeah, like a sheet. And you've got the, uh, be did you just seriously unfocus on me? Here we go. And then you've got the beeswax, the honeycomb pattern all around. So that looks like it straight up was like stamped or rolled out on like a rolling pin that probably had that design. Again, I'm t they look and feel handmade, handcrafted, whatever. Somebody actually put time and effort into this thing. So that's why I'm assuming, I suspect. Oh, focus. There we go. That's why I suspect this is from Etsy. But again, I'm not going to ask because that's rude. And the last thing that Courtney gifted me is, and this one was hilarious, when I unwrapped this, because, okay, so they came, they, I say they, she and her husband came over, uh, I told you about it in one of my vlogs, um, they came over uh, the night before Yule, <clears throat> um, for a Yule dinner. Like, we do that. We uh, started uh, during Samhain. Uh, Samhain, it, you might also know it as Halloween. Um, so we started doing a Sabbath dinners and get-togethers during Samhain. And then, you know, we did it again for Yule. We're going to continue to do so uh, because it's so much freaking fun. Like I said, we're, we're so new at this and we're both learning about all of these things at the exact same time. So that's so exciting. Or at least I think that's why it's exciting. I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird and just, I, I well, I am weird and I do find pleasure in the simplest of things, but I just, I think it's special. I love it. Um, so. Anyway, they came over for Yule and, or the, the day before Yule, we were celebrating Yule, whatever. Um, they came over and had given us our presents. And I was like, you know, again, I was like, oh my God, presents, but whatever. Like after this year, I'm, I'm over my, my anti present gift, shitty attitude, I think is done. I'm like, you know what, going forward, okay, I'm going to embrace the gift giving and all that stuff because I now, it's been a long time since I actually had like the joy of gift giving and receiving. And it's fun. It's a lot of fun. I, again, I talk too much, so I'm gonna stop myself right here. But anyway, so they had given us our Christmas presents, so I was like, or our Yule presents, and you know, I thanked her. I was like, "Is it okay if I just put this under the Yule tree and like actually open it on Christmas?" And she was like, "Yeah, of course." You know, like, because I I personally don't really like opening presents in front of people. I feel weird about it, but that's besides the point. So I was just like, "Oh, you know, can can I put this under the tree so that?" Uh, we can open it on Christmas because, again, I I, I celebrated Yule. I will. I also choose to celebrate Christmas. Um, I'm also observing the 12 days of Christmas, which starts on the 25th of 25th of December and ends on January 5th. So my tree, my Yule tree. It is also it, it's considered bad luck to take your Yule tree down before the end of the 12 days of Christmas. So again, I'm still learning all this stuff. I don't know, you know, please don't come for me. You know what? No, if I am like blatantly incorrect, please correct me in the comments or DM me or whatever. I love having conversations about this and I do not like being wrong about things. So if I'm just talking out of my ass and I have no idea what I'm saying, I want to know so that I can fix that. So if I'm just like making myself a damn fool right now because I don't, which is very likely because again, I'm very new to this and still learning a lot. So there's a chance that I'm just talking out of my ass. I have no idea what the hell I'm talking about and I don't want to do that. I don't want to keep that energy. So if I'm wrong, if I'm 
come in and correct, correct. I, I want to know, I want to be better. I want to do better all the time. Besides, anyway, so Courtney came over and on Yule and gave us our presents wrapped and all that. And I asked, okay, so can I put these under the tree, X, Y, Z, blah, blah, whatever, okay, right. Well, so we opened up our gifts. We decided to unwrap gifts. We Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve, we decided to unwrap gifts because we were going over to his aunt's house for the Christmas party. The, oh, just a bit, excuse me. And so it was like, you know, all this like Christmas energy. So I was like, ooh, you know, we've got some time to kill. You want to open up our presents? So. We did that. Anyway, so I unwrapped this. Obviously, knowing it's a book, this is what I unwrapped first. I was like, oh my god, where is it? I have this and have had this in my Amazon, not my wish list, but in your cart when you save things for later. I've had this saved for later. I have a ton of books saved for later in Amazon because I have two giant stacks of books that need to be read and I need to not spend, I need to not buy more books until I read through them, get through that stack. I think my rule now is uh, I've got a big stack in uh, the bedroom, it's in my headboard in the bedroom. Once I get through that stack, all of it, then I'm going to take I'm pointing up to my shelf in my office here. Then I'm gonna take that stack, put it in there, and work through that stack. Once this stack in my office has been moved to the bedroom, that is when I will allow myself to purchase books again. Because I just bought, if I am left to my own devices, I would just buy books. I see them, I I have an Audible account as well, so I also have a really bad habit. Well, it's not a bad habit if I actually read the book. You know, I'll, I'll listen to a book on Audible. If I listen to this book on repeat at all, like um, when I did was, and I still do it, I still reread this or listen to this book multiple times because I think it's excellent. I think it is it life-changing for me anyway. Um, so I, um, uh, the, the book that I'm referring to is called uh, How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. I don't know when it was written. I want to say, I mean, this is an old book. So I think maybe 50s, maybe? 50s, 60s, I don't know when this was first published. I have no idea. Um, love it. I re, I, I listened to this book on Audible so many times that I was like, I just need it now. So I bought it. I just bought the book and it's sitting in the bedroom ready for me to read whenever I feel like it or I can listen to it whenever I feel like it too, who cares? Um, but anyway, another rant. Hmm. This book. So when I unwrapped this book, I just, I died laughing. I thought it was hilarious. I took the photos, like, oh my God. I have had this sitting in my Safe for Later forever, like a year and she got it for me. So this is the, uh, I'm sorry, uh, the Witch's Book of Self-Care. And again, as I said with the book before, I love, this is a hardcover. I love a good hardcover. I, I don't care. I mean, I'm not a snob about, I don't care about paperback. I don't give a shit. Um, but I love a good book in my hand. And there's just something special about actually having a book in your hand. And I love this. I love the art. I love everything about it. It's even beautiful on the inside, like the color story on the inside. 
focus is so gorgeous. I just, I love it. It sticks with the theme of, look how cute, it's hot pink. But um, anyway, uh, after I unwrapped this, I sent her a photo and sent her a text and I was like, oh my God, I, I've had it waiting so long. Like, thank you so much. Uh, but um, I, I, I have wanted this for so long. I just never did anything because I have to read through all the books that I haven't read through. So it's the Witch's Book of Self-Care, Magical Ways to Pamper, Soothe, and Care for Your Body and Spirit. Isn't that beautiful? I just, I love stuff like that. Even if it's not involving witchcraft, I don't care. Like, I love self-care, I love self-improvement, so this just hit the nail right on the head. Made my heart so happy. And, let's face it, you know, this year, I'm looking for any way to be it. So I rambled on enough. Let's move on to my S Secret Santa. Yeah, Secret Santa. So turns out that my Secret Santa was a uh, cousin Misty. And what we actually did is his Aunt Candy had organized a thing on this app called Elfster. And it uh, just, you know, it puts all participants in this little group together so that you can kind of like keep track of what's going on, event details and whatever. Um, the tip top number one thing on there was that everyone participating in the Secret Santa created a, a wish list so that you can actually get shit that made sense to you. So these were on my wish list. First thing is this gorgeous uh, Oracle deck. The Star Seed Oracle deck. I mean, okay, so I'm not huge on pastels, but when I saw this, I was like, I must have. It's so, and look how cool. That's the top of the box. It's neat. But I was just like, oh my God. It's so cool and beautiful. I'm not gonna unwrap it. I'm not gonna go through everything, but this is gorgeous. Again, I'm not big on pastels, but oh. This makes me feel a certain type of way. Gorgeous. And even better, it's like nice in person. So, ugh, you know, that's a huge thing. So this is a 53 card deck and guidebook because Oracle decks are not like tarot decks. These cards are going to actually have different messages on them. So it comes with the guidebook too, to you know, give you more insight on a cards that you pull. The next thing that was on my wish list that she got is this gorgeous pendulum. Also, apparently, so I had a pendulum, um, oh my God, a board. It was kind of like a yes, yes board, like a, a Ouija board. Um, I had that on my wish list as well. Instead of getting that, she went on Etsy. She told me she went on Etsy and found apparently a really kick ass pendulum board from like Russia or something and like mismanaged like the date that it would be delivered. So she was like, oh, that's coming to you too. So apparently I've got a, a kick-ass pendulum board coming my way as well. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited about all these things, but I haven't seen it yet. So this, oh, hello, here we go. So this is the pendulum. Oh yeah, again, so much prettier in person 
I mean, when I when I put this on my wish list, I mean, obviously I thought it was gorgeous. I mean, that's why I put it on there. And I don't have any pendulums, and I'm interested in doing that sort of work. But oh, it's so pretty and sparkly. I just oh yes, exceeded my expectations 100%. And then last, but most certainly not least, is a lot, so I'm not going to hold it up, but I am going to just go one by one. All of these gifts that I'm about to show you are from my mother-in-law. So in my stocking, I had, what is this, soap and glory. Uh, weight on hand and foot so it's a foot cream and um, a non-greasy hydrating hand cream and it looks like uh, sample sizes or something like that which is perfectly fine with me who cares um, and pink and cute. Again, I'm not huge on the pastels, but this is just adorable. I mean, come on, so cute. Um, soap and Glory, I'm gonna have to look into that. I know, don't come for me. If they're like a huge brand and I don't know about them, then fine, whatever, but I'll look into them. Especially if like, this is cute. Hand Food and Heal Genius. <laughs> cute. The next thing that was in my stocking is something that is in our stocking every year, no matter what, without fail. Now I'm not going to open this because basically if you open it, you gotta eat it. So I think I'll open it later, but it is Terry's Chocolate Orange. This is what the packaging looks like, came in a little box. Um, these things are so cool. I didn't even know these things existed until I got with Greg, started having Christmas with Greg and all that stuff. These things are hilarious. So you, it, oh, it even tells you on the label. It says whack and unwrap. So literally, so you hold it like this and you can hit it on your hand or what we like to do is hit it on the counter. You hit it on something and the slices of the chocolate orange fall open so that you can eat an orange slice, a chocolate slice at a time. So fucking cool. I love these things. These are so neat. Again, never heard about them, never knew about them, didn't even know they existed until I started dating Greg and started getting this in every single Christmas stocking since we've been together. Yeah, yeah, amazing. So if you're curious and know nothing about it, try it out. I don't know where you get them. I don't even know where she finds these things. She could probably find them at the grocery store for all I know, but, and it's good. It's really good. It's tasty. I love it every time. I've never let one go to waste. Like I plan on eating Greg's too. Greg got one too and he, like, I just left his on the counter. His has been on the counter since Christmas, and I'm like, if you don't eat it, I'm going to. Next, haha. Candle. Of course, it's, of course, of course, somebody would get me a candle. And there's a wood wick. Mm -hmm. Ugh. So good. So, uh, da -da, let's give you some information about this. Oh, okay, so the flavors, the flavors, the scents. Um, tiar, ooh, tiari, tiari flower, amber, monoi, and fir balsam. Sorry, totally butchered that, I know I did. Uh, CL Co. Candle Light Company. Crafted in the US. Burn time up to 90 hours. Yeah. And look how cute. Like, I, again, I'm gonna burn. If you give me a candle, or if I have a candle, I'm gonna burn the crap out of it. Believe me. But 
look how pretty. Wow. Totally fits the aesthetic of my house. <gasps> and this! Uh, cute. Now, I really don't care. I think people, I think you're supposed to do that and like put it under the candle or something. I don't care. I've never once ruined a countertop or a table or anything like that with, with candles. So I don't care. I'm gonna craft or something with this. I don't know what, but I'm gonna, this is pretty. It was, it was a lid. Pretty. I'm putting it on the candle for now because it's gonna go in the closet until I have used up some other candles. And then the last thing, she knows me so well. This is another thing that I keep seeing on Amazon, but I just never pulled the trigger on it because I never really could rationalize like the purchase for myself. I don't know why. I don't know why I never did it. It's just like, I don't know. I don't know the answer. So I'm boom, whatever. Um, anyway, so cool. I want to know what beauty horror one looks like too, but this is pretty. First of all, the cover's pretty, the inside. And I'm like, oh, no, so well. The inside is just full of creepy crap. Look at that. Creepy, beautiful coloring book. Fun. I opened this and she was like, oh, I, I lost it. I was like, oh my God, really? Cool. And she was like, yeah, yeah. The way you are with your horror, your horror movies and your, I'm sure she wanted to say it, but you know, I'm, I'm the weird goth one. I'm not goth, but you know, they all think I am because I've got piercings and tattoos and stuff. But anyway, uh, love it. And colored pencils. Now this is cool because I am like, mm, like half of the colored pencils that I already have are like, you know, tiny. I used them up and it hurts my hands when I use them because it's so small and all that stuff. Anyway. No more complaining out of me. But, um, so cool. Like, I can replenish my color pencil stock. Again, just things that I never consider, like, I never think to do it. Like, oh, I should probably get more colored pencils here. But it's like, especially if it's a gift, it's like, nice! I need these. This is great. Anyway, I rambled on for so long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this video here because I have no more gifts to show you in this Christmas haul. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lounge. I'm going to crack this open and have some chocolate. Hopefully not the whole thing, but if it happens, it happens. I really don't care. But I want to thank you so much for watching. And again, I want to wish you continuous good luck. Goodbye. Sorry guys, my camera cut out on me. Oh, uh, surprise, surprise. Anyway, all I wanted to say is thank you for watching. I love you so much. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.